Hello guys, this is Kazuza from the channel Kazuzart. How are you today? So for this video, I decided to talk about a topic that is coming back quite often on my Instagram. Like a lot of people ask me about art style. Or did I find my art style some uh, tips to find your own art style and stuff like that. And this is such a big subject that I was like, hmm, I should really do uh, a video about it because it is kind of long to explain. And when I was starting art like four years ago now, um, maybe after a year, I started to ask myself the same thing. Like, what is an art style? What makes me different from other artists that use the same medium as me? What makes my art noticeable? If you are already kind of uh, accustomed to art and to art uh, media like Instagram or DeviantArt or Tumblr, you already know that some people draw like every other people. Like when you see their drawing, well, like, oh, isn't that the same artist than that other one I saw yesterday, but no, it's not the same. It's just that the art style is so similar that it looks the same and it especially is uh, very showy when you start art and you want to get better at it. And so you kind of emulate your favorite artist. And so your art kind of tend to look the same way, more or less. I'm not talking about plagiar or copy. I'm talking about like learning. Uh, it is a normal phase. It is normal phase. Uh, but some artists, some artists that you will see, uh, you will recognize their art from any other because it is so specific. It is so special. And I think a lot of people, me included back then, really want to find that art style, to find that thing that makes you uh, different, that will make other people remember you and notice you. Uh, it took me three, three to four years to find my art style. Um, and the first thing I want to address is that I know people don't want to hear that. I didn't want to hear that back then too, but there are no magical tip to find your art, art style. Actually, it will come on its own. Like it will happen at some point that you are happy with your skills. You don't feel the need to work very hard on progress anymore, you know, with proportion, with coloring, etc., etc. Uh, and that you will feel comfortable drawing uh, almost without reference. Of course, you will still use reference for um, uh, for clothes, for lightning, you know, for background, because you always have to use reference at some point. But for classical things, like for example, for face for eyes, for lips, for nose, for uh, drawing hands, you will have, you will be used to a certain way that looks good for you and that please you. And this is what is an art style. It is a way of drawing something that you draw a lot. Like for example, for me, I draw a lot of women. So when I'm drawing them, I have my own way of doing it. And when I started, I kind of liked the way, I don't know, this artist was doing eyes and this other artist was doing nose and that other artist with the hair, you know, and all this merged up together after some time, after a lot of trial and error and became my own art style. Uh, because in art, kind of everyone is inspired by everyone. It is how it is, like we, we share. Like art is, a, is something that you share and that evolves and it evolves with you, you know. Your art style will become your own when it will become unique to you. But at, at some point it came from someone else or more or less a mix of a lot of people. And with a little bit of you and it become your own. So how do you find that art style? How, how does it come to you? Well, the first thing is that don't think about your art style. Is that the most difficult thing? Because like I said, like I wanted an art style, everyone wants it, but you, you must not 
think about it because it is not what's important because it will come it will come at some point but the most important thing is to develop your skills your art skills that's the most important because you can have an art style and be a terrible artist and there are no well if you're happy about the way you draw that's not a problem you know but if you want to become a, an artist professionally if you want to do commission you have to have some skill at some point uh, you have to do anatomical proportion right and if you don't do them right you know because manga is not proportional you know it's not accurate but it looks good and if you want to be able to do that you need to learn how to do it good uh, with normal body at first you know not a uh, caricatural shape so the first thing that you should do is really learn about the more important in art which is proportion the way of light and shadow how it work uh, color theory uh, th this is this sounds very harsh and very difficult but it's not like basically uh, what I did and what I think everyone should do is that you find artists that you love you go to Pinterest you take a lot of pictures that inspire you, that you think is good, a lot of photo or artists that you like, with the medium that you like. It is important to choose if you are, for example, if you want to learn digital art, don't take um, artists that do traditional as an example because it's not the same way. They won't uh, teach you what you want to learn really. Well, you can take them, for example, for proportion, for the way eyes are made. But if it's about coloring, try to take artists that do the same uh, theme that you want to do. Like if you want to draw a girl, take example on artists that draw a girl. But always, always try to have many samples and take artists that you really like. And the most important thing is that that you think are very good artists, are very skilled. Uh, the other thing when you choose those artists of reference is that don't take them uh, too far from your own skill. At first, uh, when you start drawing, your skill is probably very bad. Mine was very, very bad. I had an awful skill. Like, I think when I was 10 years old, I draw better than I was drawing when I started four years ago. That awful. Uh, so I choose to try to learn from artists that were a little bit better than me. And then when I was feeling that I was at the level of those artists, I look up to artists that were even better and better. Because if you start to looking at artists that have way, way higher levels than you, you will, you will be disappointed. You will be, you will be like, no, no, I, I'm a shit. I can, I can do it. I can, but you can actually. <laughs> Artist uh, skill is like everything. It's like a sport. It's like like you can be good naturally. It happens. It happens to be good at something naturally, but you need to train it anyway. And anyone can be good at it if trained longer, long enough. Like some are more talented than others, but mostly at the end, it is hard work. So try to draw every day try to draw every day but not draw any, any anything kind of like i see that tips a lot on the internet and it is a good tips but at some point you have to draw right because if you teach your brain to draw a bad proportion bad coloring then it will get used to that and you will never progress so try to take artists that you love as an example don't copy study them Look at how they do, how they color the eyes, the way they do the form, the way they draw the end. Try to watch a lot of speed painting uh, or tutorial. It helps a lot. Like when I was young, when I was younger, there were no internet because I'm old. Well, there were internet, but it was very expensive. So only rich people had internet back then. And learning to draw was almost impossible without art uh, teaching, you know. But no, right now with Pinterest, with YouTube, 
you you can find so many reference and tutorial that anyone really anyone can learn anything so take all this and study study and draw and you will see your art style will come it will come at some point but the most important part and i can't stress it enough is to learn to draw right to develop your skill um a little tips a little tips that i can give and that really helped me a lot to define my art style is to do a lot of challenge uh draw this in your style uh for those who doesn't know what is it it is what i'm doing in the video right now uh an artist uh it is a thing on instagram i don't know about deviant art but instagram it is a thing an artist will post a picture he did and you will draw that picture but with your own style with your own way so you don't copy uh the artist you use this character the characteristic of this character for example the girl i draw is from one of my favorite artists as series uh and you see she has long wavy grayish blonde hair with uh red at the end and she has a grayish lavender sweatshirt and she has horn and you know she has a little patch on her cheek you know and i do it with my own style you can change the position of the character you can change something but mostly you draw the same character but in a way and those kind of challenge are very very helpful um, because you don't have to think about all the proportion you don't have to think too much about the color you should choose and the hairstyle and anything because the original artists have already decided all this for you all you have to do is to concentrate on how you want to draw that that person that that character how you want to for here to appear and that helps a lot because uh it is quick to do and you will see after doing five or six of them you will kind of find that you have some preference you like to draw eyes that way like for example me uh i hate line art i hate it <laughs> i hate like i have ton of liner but i never use it i think it is such a boring steps but uh I don't like drawing with salt line art. <laughs> uh, so I developed my own way, which is to line, like you can see on the on the video, like to line after I color uh, with pencil, color pencil, and to use many colors. Like for example, I start with a very bright red color, and then I go with a little brown over it, and then with black, you know, to give some. Um, some depth to the to the drawing and that a way i developed uh, by doing a lot of uh, challenge draw this in your style um, because those challenges are good because it makes you draw a lot but at the same time well choose artists that you think are really good right uh, you will see you will study the picture to draw it uh, in your way and you will see how the artists do it and you will learn a lot so for me it is one of the best way to quickly develop your own uh, art style but really really like i can't stress it enough learn how to draw well first because an art style is good when you already have skills like if you draw like a 10 years old like i was drawing back then uh then who cares that you have an art style people won't like your art not not really a lot you know uh of course of course uh if you like the way you draw if you don't want to get better because like for example you like the way it looks you know and you don't care about what people think or blah blah, blah then that doesn't matter you know like just draw the way you like um but for art style this is really what i observed and my own experience uh, so i hope that those tips <laughs> had been helpful to you like um 
it's something that I wish uh, I had knew back then because I was so stressed. I was so stressed about uh, art style and about how to find it and and no, I just like and it happened without me noticing. Like it's people that are like no on my Instagram, and I'm so grateful for that. That are like I love your art style, and the first time someone told me that, I was like, but I don't have an art style. But yes, I had one. He developed uh, without me noticing that all. And that will happen to you. So come on, my artist follower and my artist friend. Don't suffer. Be happy and draw, draw a lot. And you will see it will come. It will come finally. Thank you for watching. And well, if you like, give me a like and subscribe. See you soon, guys. Goodbye.